Hey guys, this is Rick with CMYBeach.com. We're here today at Plantation Key School. I'm with Isabella. How you doing, Isabella? Good. Excellent. She's our host of Kids Zone, as most people know, and I'm here also with, say your name, young lady. Audrina. Hi. I actually know her name, but that's Audrina from SRS, and this is Mr. Say your name. Jim Bokar. Jim Bokar. Say your name, young lady. Tisa Wall. Marianne Bokar. There we go. Now, what we're here for today is kind of an amazing thing because Isabella, most people who know, has helped in yeah. .litter .org, yeah. uh, which is an amazing organization. She founded uh, about a year ago, and she's organizing children to clean up and everything. One of the biggest challenges that she's had since I've been involved is, is, is she can want to do this all she wants to. She can want to to have organizations and kids cleaning with grabbers and all these kind of things, but, but wanting to, to don't make it work, does yeah, it? You need adults that can help you and you need the funding in order to buy all the grabbers and the gloves that you need uh, in order to make cleanup successful. successful. And this, this has been a challenge we've had since the beginning, hasn't it? Yep. Well, we just ran across an amazing family here. We were thinking about getting uh, Isabella behind the scenes and I were talking about how we're going to raise funding, how we're going to make this thing work and everything. And we got the idea to have chapter sponsorships, but we thought about it being businesses and all. And that's when we ran into Mr. Bokar. And he wanted to sponsor it through his family instead of through a business. And go First of all, you came in and we were going to do one time. You were going to be a sponsor of exactly just a right. general sponsor. And then he gets the bright idea. <laughs> We were already working the next day. We were already working on the other thing. How about this? Exactly. That's clever. Yes. That's clever marketing. But <laughs> no, we, we when I went by the first time, we had I had the we were working on the thing where we would have chance for chapter sponsors. And then but I, we didn't have that ready. So I just told them, you know, it's just become this or whatever. And we can only have one chapter sponsor per event, per organization. And I went back and told him about it, and I said, just look at it and think about it. And this is the cool part. Whenever I, he said, he said, well, I need to talk it over with Marianne. You go through all this kind of stuff and everything. And I said, well, look, let's, let me meet up with Marianne. Let's go over it. I gave him a call about two days later. He said, you know what? Marianne, don't even want to meet you. He said, she thinks it's awesome, thinks it's amazing. No one needs to talk to you. Just come by and let's get it done. So that was just amazing. Thank you for that, Marianne. You're welcome. It hurt my feelings a little bit because you didn't want to meet me. But now you're but, now, now, <laughs> now you met me and everything. You know, she's like, it's not that impressive. But anyway, um, but I thought that was fantastic because he's like, you know, you, what you guys are doing in the community and Isabella, he said, we, we have to support things like that. And not one moment did he flinch. And I was like, let's, how, how can we do this to promote things? He's like, I don't want to promote things. He said, I just want to be part of this and part of helping Isabella do what she's going to do. So Tisa, you do not have to worry about getting grabbers and you don't have to worry about when you go out and we don't have refreshments and water at your cleanups because these wonderful people have taken care of that for you. Thank you, Jim. And You're thank welcome. you, Mary Ann, yeah. for supporting Plantation Key School and Isabella in the End All Litter and See My Beach initiative. It's, it's just an amazing thing of everything coming together. Uh, See My Beach, which we founded five years ago with the idea to make money and make a difference in the world. And I think, you know, Isabella and I kind of talked behind the scenes about how we've inspired each other to do things. I heard her saying one day that she wants to be a better person in the world from her experience with See My Beach. And that's, and I want to be a better person because of my experience with Isabella. And then we've got to meet this wonderful young lady, Audrina, who cares about the environment. We're all kind of bonded. And you're either, somebody told me today, that you're either someone who throws trash out everywhere or you're someone who cleans it up everywhere. There's almost no in between. And we just got to create, like Isabella was saying earlier at a different school, the youth, the little kids, are the ones that we have to ingrain in their mind to pick up trash, and we won't have these problems in the future. Yep. Right. Because Isabella told me just recently that it's her age that's already starting to litter. Yeah, it's that's pathetic. Ages 15 through 21. That's I think it's 70 or 80 percent of the litter. Sad. Are you about to say something, Jim? Yeah, I, uh, I forgot. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I'll remember, it'll come back. Okay, and we can, we just kept going on. But anyway, um, if you oh, think, God. go ahead, go ahead. Uh, you know, what, when I'm out in the water, right? Always a lot of trash. First of all, you can't believe how much trash is out there in the Gulf Stream. Just incredible. Yeah. You know, I've got a net in a boat, big net. <laughs> Scoop it, throw it in. Yeah, and, you, and it's just, it just seems to accumulate more every time. It's just amazing. Yeah. And there's plastic. And it actually seems overwhelming, but the only inspiration I get is when we're in a place like this and, and people aren't going to have seen this, we'll put a little clip in about it uh, at the end here, but to hear all these children asking questions, some were goofy questions about that stupid dab thing that drives me out of my mind, and then others were great questions about just, you know, what we find in the litter, that shows that they're gaining interest, and every kid who was exposed to that in here today are going to think about this, and that's what's so important. Anybody have any last thoughts? One list. Yes, sir. I think if we can get these young boys and girls pointed in the right direction, 
it becomes a disease and they should be able to spread it to their children, their father and mother. You hit it on the head. That's where it comes to. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're more right about that than you even realize just saying that casually because we found through everything we do, our first litter cleanup, we didn't have as many kids, did we, as well as we, we expected. We had adults. And then we had kids the next week, two weeks later, every time I'd run into one somewhere, they'd be like, on the download, they'd be like, I just want to tell you, I wanted to go to the cleanup, but my dad wouldn't get up. My mom had something else to do. So the parents have to get involved. When they have a kid who wants to go clean, get up and go take them to the cleanup, you know? So parents are key and vital to all of this. And that's why I threw in the thing earlier about the plastic bags and things like that, to not bring those to the, to the stores and all that, try to avoid using them. And, uh, you know, this is a caring bunch, and it inspires me to be hanging out with you guys. So thank y'all. And, uh, and you inspire me, sir, and Marianne, because... Uh, we, I've, I've funded so much to do with, with uh, helping dot litter so far. It's insane because I want her to do well and I want to help it. This and is the inspiration. That's the inspiration. Yeah. Isabella, love to Isabella. The handshake of the 21st century. That's right. oh, you got to, you got, you got to do this to make it cool. Oh. There you go, to everybody. <laughs> you did that awesomely. Is that your first fist bump? No. <laughs> oh, that's right. You have a little one. And what's your, what's your, what's your son's name? Caleb. Caleb, I mean, he goes here to school, yeah, and, and it's a perfect example of his father in his school saying, let's take the step and do something positive. And we have multiple chapters, so if anybody watching this wants to become involved, we have uh, KLS that we're going to need the same thing to happen for here. You're one of our newest uh, chapters, Tisa, and you fortunately had a student in the class with a father and mother who was interested in, in doing this. So it's funny that our, new, our newest chapter is the first one to, what's that? get a sponsor. The first, yes, first one. And that means I don't have to pay for him anymore because he's already taken care of it and they've already taken care of it. So thank you guys. What's your, oh, can I turn my head? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're, you have a logo, I understand. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah. Can I, I get my hands those. on it? Yes. Absolutely. The logo was actually designed by, you may even know who designed it. Do you know Morna from Morna's Art? Have you heard of her? She has Art Murata, which is in the rain barrel. Oh. And she's a wonderful artist. She donated her time and what she did was she painted a beautiful portrait of Isabella with her flowing hair and everything and that became part of her logo with the circle with helping doll litter around the world the planet but we'll get that to you for sure yeah because yeah, I think uh, I want to shop maybe we supply every every child that'll go and clean up one day with no shirt yeah so, uh, act there so they can start with it in the morning and then they keep it Oh yeah, I think that would be fantastic. The more we can promote Help End Our Litter and this chapter in general and Tisa going out clean up and, and we're going to, in the next week, Tisa and I, you and I will meet and we'll come up with, we're going to do cleanups, we're going to do them on a regular basis and because we want to make a powerful difference here and because we have the tools to do it because it's provided by them. Before we kind of had to work things out the way we could. Right now, this is what we've needed is that advantage and you guys have made it possible. So thank you. Isabella. We got to go to another place to go. Yep. Thank you so much, sir. Thank Marianne, thank you for being part of everything. Thank you guys for coming. And now that we've met, how was it? It's, it's, was it's pretty impressive, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I'm impressive. That's why I keep the camera pointed away from me. <laughs> come up with a dance. <laughs> we got, it's, 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 the, it's the gym dance. Right. Everybody do the gym. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see y'all later. Okay. Signing off from SeeMyBeach.com. Tisa Law, Aldrina. Thank you, Audrina. You inspire me. We had lunch yesterday, and it was awesome. Thank you for. She kind of stops by every night, and we just kind of hang out and talk about the things we have in common, which is saving the planet and trying to do better things in the world. So thank you for that support. You've been very supportive, whether you know it or not. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Sorry.